you guys about ladies' nights. Uh, just show of hands, how many know what it is? All right, and how, uh, how many people think that it's a fair system? <laughs> All right, the girls think it's a fair system. <laughs> um, so for those who don't know, ladies' nights is a night where girls go to the club and don't have to pay cover, but if guys want to get into the same club, they have to pay a cover fee, so like five or $10. And I'm going to stand here before you and tell you why the system exists and why it's actually fair. So, wait, um, the club is actually a two-sided market because you have your men and you have your women. So in a hypothetical setup here, um, the revenue that you can extract is seen by the blue square, where is the all total price and quantity. Now, if you give a subsidy to one of the sides, this will drive demand in the other market and it will increase your total revenue. So the question becomes is how do you, how do you choose which side to give your subsidy to? So in this case, if you give the subsidy to market one, that means you take a loss in market one, but this will drop demand in market two, so it will expand out as the light blue score shows. And so this expansion will be bigger than the loss that you take in market one, and so your overall revenue will increase. And so the question becomes, which side do you subsidize? Do you subsidize market one, or do you subsidize market two? If you subsidize market one, that means you take a loss in market one, uh, but that will drive your surplus to the light blue square in market two. On the other hand, if you, t if you subsidize market two, that'll drive demand in market one, and your overall, your overall total revenue will be the light orange square. So we see that the orange square is bigger than the blue one, so we want to subsidize the blue market, because that'll, taking that small loss will drive a lot of demand in the orange square. So just by taking a small loss in market two, that'll really drive demand in market one, and, we'll, and you'll make a lot more money. Now, in a club, you have, you have three players. You have the club itself, and so you have the venue, and then you also need women to come out, and you need men to come out. Now, the club itself has two problems. It has the coordination problem, because it needs to have both men and women at the same place, at the same time, in the same night. Otherwise, things wouldn't go so well. Also, you have the chicken and egg problem, which says, if girls come, the guys will follow. And if the guys come, the girls will follow? Anyway, <laughs> you need, if one side comes, the other will follow. Um, and so the question is, how do you incentivize one side to come so that the other will follow? And as Dane Cook said very well, screw boys, I just want to dance, when he described women. And based off that, we know that this is very representative of most women's opinions. And so they have the smaller surplus. So in this sense, this is why they get subsidized, because they have less to lose. They don't really care that much where they go. They just want music, they want to have a good time with the girls. Uh, but the guys, this, they know that the women will be there. And so they'll follow and they'll have a good time too. So that solves the coordination problem and the chicken and egg problem because you bring in everyone under one roof by giving the incentive to the market that has a smaller subsidy. So once they're inside, you, the club acts as a monopolist power because everyone's there they, and the club can set the rules. Uh, so they wanted to extract the maximum consumer surplus. So they extract as much as they could from the cover fees by giving none to women and making the guys pay. And now you have to make people pay for drinks. If you price beer at $30 a bottle, it's very doubtful that you'll make a lot of money. But if you price between $3 and $7, most people will buy it. And so the drinks are your marginal willingness to pay. And so you'll buy as many drinks as you're willing to pay for that night. And so in that way, they're going to extract all their consumer surplus uh, and make all their money. So this is why uh, ladies' nights are actually really fair for you, because you'll, you'll be able to have a good time. Guys will meet the ladies of your dreams. Girls, you'll have a good time. And the club wins because they'll make the most money. So next time you see a poster for a ladies' night, I recommend that you all go. <laughs>